Nee, maar Boyakulu is het plan met die bouw van een kabelkar. Het geweldige tegenstand van gemeenschappen en die van leien van die voetjevels van die drakensperken gekry. Die gemeenschap op wie jullie ontwikkeling die grootste impact gaan hee, is die gemeenschap op wie ze grond die stansie opgerig gaan word. There is a land which is in the Busingata area, okay, which at the moment you can simply say is a traditional community land uh, which has got a lot of workers. But then there is a land on top. These are matters that I'm saying in the detailed business plan. We are actually now verifying the ownership of the land and who those owners of the land are going to be and how we deal with it. But as from what we understand is that the one land on top is a state-owned land. But the one in the, in the Busingata area is a community-owned land to the Ingwanyama Trust. Bawinile Mtolo is a inwoner van the Bushingata van Lai, the voorgestelde perceel for the Kabelkaarse grondstasie. Bawinile, a lid van the Amazizi gemeenschap, is passievol with the berg in the omgeving waarin sy blij. What do these mountains, and specifically the Drakensberg mean to you? Drakensberg mountains. Bonang, can you see this t-shirt? I'm proud of it because the Drakensberg Mountains, it's one of our treasure. It's a treasure of the nation. I'll be very surprised if someone from this era can not be proud of Drakensberg Mountain, cannot know how important is the Drakensberg Mountains because I love it. I even dream of it. How do you feel about the idea of a cable car? I think the cable car will uh, affect the environment, especially where the, the station is close to the uh, homestead, first of all. And I feel some houses need to be moved for, for that uh, development they mentioned. And maybe uh, when they're going to the summit, it's where Tukela River starts, and people uh, down Deben and all over, they are using the Tukela water. There will be litter, toilets, air pollution, and all these things will uh, affect the environment. There are some houses pretty close to the proposed site, and some community members express their concern, concern that they now have to be relocated. Is, is that a possibility? It, it, it probably is. Uh, uh, it, it's possible that the developers of the cableway might want to utilise some of the land that is currently occupied by, by community members in the valley, in which case, of course, there would be a negotiation and, and full and generous compensation. A development of this nature needs full community support. In, in the feasibility study that, you, that you've done, what were your findings regarding community support? We, we, we have found overwhelming support. Uh, the, the, we, we have engaged with the community on um, a number of occasions over, over a year. Um, there has been great excitement uh, and an enthusiastic support by and large. I, I must also emphasize that the Busengada Valley, where the, where the cable way is going to be built, is currently not a tourism valley. There are no tourists. Uh, there are 2,000 local inhabitants in the valley. They are primarily subsistence farmers. So the only people who are, uh, who are currently users of the valley who are going to be offended by the site of the cableway are, are the local inhabitants. Om ons idee te gee van hoe die rest van die gemeenskap oor die kabelkar voel, het Bawi Nile ons voorgestel aan een groep leiers waar die Amazizi stam verteenwoordig. Now, MEC Michael Mabuyakulu wants to build a cableway in, in this area. What do you think of his plan? Ngogwe uh, a cable car. Gona gona. This nge ge speak sana na. Goto si a speak sana na nge si mo so guti. Si bonela impilo ntalo ya bantu. Oguti a a a a i zuba i nge futi nge si mo so guti. Nango gom noto, aguko gom noto, esigbona kuzo zozwa isizwe. Inga koge, si piksana nang emkutu gutpela, kwa yenga ilande langa emkutu eyo, uguza zofiga enda wenye esizwe. Aptu sezo faga le cable way. So you don't want a cable car in this valley? Asi tiingi, ngenzela eze ngayo. 
Goto ungoba la pana i ipazamisa la si zogonga kona imvelo. La pesa se skale kona uchelo logongi wa wemvelo. Die gebied waar nou Godfrey verwijs is hier die berg, die slapende skoonheid. Een paar jaar geleden het die gemeenskap opgehou om hulle vee daar te laat wei en verskye bewaringsacties geloods om die wildernis area te rehabiliteer. Hulle vrees dat die kabelkar hulle bewaringswerk in die wiele sal rei. This community has been working towards the proclamation of a nature reserve. So clearly they had other plans. Are you aware of this? No, we are aware of that, but <clears throat> we do have the Maluti Trankensberg uh, World Heritage Site there. Um, and therefore we have actually said very clearly that from where we are, we are situated, there is no contradiction with any other environmental projects or initiatives that have been taken. What are your future hopes for this area? I heard in my vision that uh, maybe this place in future the community themselves can manage their area well, especially on environment. They can have that a, a nature reserve properly proclaimed, like a case in wildlife is a subsidized. I wish that, that this community is both Amangwane and Amazizi to be subsidized for sustainable environmental projects. You're a real custodian for the drunken <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I am. Well, for the, the Royal Natal National Park is a very small tourism infrastructure in this area. So, I think that a cable car in this area, a small business as here, is a good deal. Beauty, are, are you aware of the cable car that the MEC is planning to build in this region? Uh, in fact, I, I, I'm not against about cable car. The only reason is that. We collect the uh, grass from that mountain. So if the cable car is, is, will be there, uh, we haven't got any grass to build our uh, uh, product. Because with the cable car in this region, it will attract more tourists. So yes. that might surely benefit your, your business. But the only problem is that if the cable car I I is there, our members can't go there in the mountain to collect some grass to, to weave our baskets. On the grounds of the Noordelijke Drakensberg and the Bushangata Vallei let the streak that as the central Drakensberg bekend staan. This begins by the Champagne Vallei and straks by Cathedral Peak and the Didima Vallei. Although this is a short distance from the amphitheater as so the Kraai Vlieg, it is more than a year to go to the central Drakensberg. Dit is een gebied wat reeds een groot toerisme infrastructuur dra en plaaslijke zakenlijf voelt dat, indien een kabelkar gebouwd gaan wordt, dit in hierdie deel gedoen moet word, om maar die menselijke voetspoor klaar daar is. Ons het ontmoeting met zakenlijf en die champagne van lijf gereel om uit te vind wat hulle van die kabelkar denk. In die centrale berg kan ons doen met de additionele punt wat de focus zal lok naar na hierdie gebied te denken. Hier is reeds die infrastructuur, soos allemaal nou klaar sê, hier is klaar die hotelle, hier is klaar die paaie. Dit is een ontwikkelingsgebied. Um, in termen van omgevingsimpak, Ed, ek weet, jy, jy blij na alle jylle rukkie en jy, jy ken die berge. Mens het natuurlijk een sekere voorbehoude met, met, met so'n met so project, want dit gaan natuurlijk inpak he, op die berg en op die, op die bezoekers. Die, die, die probleem is die gevaar dat mensen te makkelijk op die berg gaan kom, wat niet normaal weg daar zo so gekom het nie. Nou kan hulle makkelijk daar kom en hulle kan te veel bagage dra, te veel, um, te veel goed wat hulle gaan verwijder uit hulle sak uit met tijd en moendlik in die berg achtergelaat kan word. If the, the impact study decides that it is not viable and it's going to be against the, uh, the environment, fine, then we scrap it. But I can't see it happening. That's a big chunk of rock out there. And for one little cable car with one little building at the top and a building at the bottom, I think everyone would gain, gain by it. And that would be a very, very small price to pay for the amount of infrastructure that would be brought into this, this area. There will be a lot of money to be invested Want al die infrastructuur wat nou verwijs is, hotelle en so en so voort, die moet gebouwd worden. En voordat enige ontwikkelaar bereid sal wees om sy geld daarin te stoot, moet hy oortuig wees dat daar die kabelka 
uh, genoeg um, toeristen zal lokken. To my mind, it is time we actually got excited about this, about the cable car. Because for whatever anyone says, if we had a cable car in the Drakensberg, we would get a heck of a lot more tourists. Mm. Die Drakensberg behoort aan alle Zuid-Afrikaners. En daar moet oorweging geskenk word om meer mense toegang na daar die majestuese pieke te gee. Maar enige zodanige ontwikkeling het die potentiaal om een groot inpak op die sensitieve ecosysteem en die mense daar te hee. Soos die idee van een kabelkar in die Drakensberg momentum kry, kan mens net hoop dat alle processe nou kere gevolg sal word en slechts die beste navolsingsspanne gebruik sal word. MSC, what is the next step? We are in the process of uh, finalizing the business plan. At the time when we announce the results of the feasibility study, we said we will embark on a full EIA process. And therefore that process will actually start in earnest um, and we will then determine the time frames of when we start that process once we put some of the matters before government and then embark on the process of an EI study. Rich Spears, the iconic book where the Drakensberg Barrier of Spears is in 1973 and in a small paragraph, he wrote the Over it all stands the Drakensberg itself. Timeless, aloof, inscrutable, but with a wild beauty of its own that tugs at the heartstrings. It is a world of indescribable and ever-changing splendor, a world of basal giants that stand as sentinels on the roof of South Africa. A world of unspoiled nature. Unspoiled nature. <laughs>